Hello my dear, this is Joel Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about chalk area. Well probably you know what is chalk area. This is uh, one of the area which we generally consider for gate design. Well this is we are talking about metal casting so in chalk area, chalk area. So what is basically chalk area? Let me share with you first definition. That's why you can have some basic concept of it. Definition. It is it is the minimum minimum cross section area in all the gating elements I hope you have watched my that video which was length I think around more than 30 minutes and in that video I have shared with you a lot of numerical problems as well as about sprue and gate design so in that video i have shared with you types of gating and gating elements too so i don't want to repeat those uh, things in this video too uh, so definitely <clears throat> from this definition we can understand what is chalk area right now why i am sharing this video you can easily read this definition i am sharing with this video because i wanted to share with you a thing that is numerical equation i mean numerical formula chalk area is equal to basically m density time for filling coefficient of discharge 2 g h t total height you can say that so let me share with you what is m m is mass of the casting density this is density so density of the material density of the material tf what is tf filling time what is filling time basically molten metal molten metal filling time in the cavity and then cd that is coefficient coefficient of discharge and then ht what is ht height of the liquid above the liquid uh, molten metal basically this is molten metal above the gate so this is <coughs> this is all about all elements we have used in this formula i hope you got the formula right now and uh, you don't have any confusion related things in this formula so probably what happened in maybe in the competition examination they will ask you to find out chalk area and what is chalk area i have already shared with you right now what i am going to share with you which is also important that is where exactly we have this chalk area in case of pressurized gating system and non pressurized gating system once you will come to know where we have this in case of pressurized and non pressurized gating system then the you know that uh, assumption or the thing the you know the what i'm talking about basically uh, where exactly that uh, chalk area would be you can visualize about it once you will come to know and you can visualize about it it becomes quite easier to understand one more thing you need, need to remember this formula and probably how examiner can relate this with the formula let me share with you basically what happened density equal to mass by volume mass by volume so volume would go up and if mass mass get cancelled then you know what will happen volume by tfcd root under 2 g h t that can we can write that that thing we can write right but here we got this formula and we uh, you know if they can relate this formula with the here 2 g h t what is the meaning of this this is this is what <coughs> flow of molten metal that means molten metal velocity in that gate gate design so we they can examiner can relate this formula with the design of gate however i haven't seen question till now in gate that they have relate these and probably they can relate in upcoming examination who knows all right so i hope you got it <coughs> now i am going to share with you two things what i have just shared with you that is 
where we have the chalk area in pressurized gating system and as well as in non uh, non pressurized gating system right so let's go for it Now can you guess? Okay, let me share with you another way is there to tell which one is pressurized gating system and which one is non-pressurized gating system. I'm just going to share with you that too. That is, you know, uh, that is okay. I'm going to share with you. But here, this is a non-pressurized, non-pressurized gating system. Here it is having minimum area that is known as chalk area and in this case here here we have chalk area this is known as pressurized gating system so now what from these two these two figures we can figure out where we have chalk area in case of pressurized gating system and where we have chalk area in case of non pressurized gating system that's right now what I was talking about just you know just before that how we can tell about the system I mean the uh, casting is going on anywhere right how we can tell uh, that uh, this is a pressurized gating system or non pressurized gating system can you say this actually I have already shared with you a video about it that is known as gating ratio I'm just going to tell you in brief about it gating ratio through gating ratio you can tell that this is a pressurized gating system or non pressurized gating system how actually what is basically gating ratio there are three things we usually take area of sprue area of runner area of gate how we can remember it watch that video you will come to know I have shared one of the simple tip to remember it or maybe you are thinking why should you go for that video you wanted to know from this video only right yeah I'm telling you how to remember this ratio I mean how to remember this uh, you know that uh, from uh, what we have to start from first what next you know what next just think about it in our English alphabet what we get first among these three letters G R and S G right so first letter is last second is in middle and third last letter is the first this is in reverse direction right I am telling you again in English alphabet among G R and S what we will get first G so this is a last year third just reverse this R second and S third just reverse this G third R second and S first so S A S R A R and A G this is all ratio and this ratio is known as gating ratio I hope you are getting me what I am trying to make you understand in this concept okay now go for it the pressurized gating system and non pressurized gating system because I have shared with you through this gating ratio you can tell the casting system is pressurized or non pressurized right if anyhow you can tell this then things become quite easier for you then let's go for it you know in case of pressurized gating system the area of the gate is always more is always more in case of pressurized uh, in case of pressurized gating system I mean sorry non pressurized gating system the area of the gate is always more for example 1 is to 2 is to 3 is an example of non pressurized gating system right this is an example of non pressurized gating system now if you are talking about pressurized gating system then what should be the example that is 3 is to 2 is to 1 that means the area of gating ratio if area of the gating ratio is minimum this is known as pressurized gating system now think about it here 
Chalk area, this is the gate. Main, this is the gate. Chalk area is here. That's why it is known as, I mean, whenever chalk area is near to the casting, then that system is known as precise gating system. You can say that also. Right. But, one, uh, yeah, now, one example I would like to share with you that is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Is this pressurized getting system or non pressurized getting system? Can you say this? Which one is this? Pressurized or non pressurized? I have shared with you if we got minimum value, minimum than this, that's why it is known as pressurized getting system. Okay. Now, what I, I was thinking to share with you that is in case of non pressurized getting system, what type of material we usually cast? In case of pressurized getting system, what type of material we usually cast? Probably you wanted to know, right? In case of non pressurized material, we cast non ferrous material. That means which material is not having any carbon at all. That, for example, aluminium. Aluminium is a non ferrous, and uh, that's why we used for this casting for this for casting this material we used non pressurized gating system. But in case of pressurized gating system, we used ferrous materials. Ferrous. You can say uh, you know ferrous metal which is having uh, you know which is having iron atom. Just like for example, you can say uh, steel is there. That is a ferrous material. So this is how you can understand about pressurized. Uh, getting system and non pressurized getting system. I hope you understand a lot and you got very good concept from this chalk area video. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.